Welcome to the Purple Gala. Tonight, we celebrate 45 years of domestic violence advocacy. The Committee to Aid Abused Women was founded by Joni Kaiser in 1977 as the first domestic violence program in the state of Nevada. Sue Wagner, former Nevada lieutenant governor and state senator, introduced a bill that created a fee on marriage licenses sold in Nevada to help fund domestic violence programs. Jan Evans, a prominent CA volunteer at the time, lobbied tirelessly to help Wagner get the bill passed. Marriage license funding was established in 1982, and since then, millions of dollars have gone to domestic violence programs in all of Nevada's 17 counties. In 1982, CA opened its emergency shelter facility, a five-bedroom home that provides no-cost shelter and support services for up to 25 individuals for a maximum of 90 days. A legal statute was passed in 1986 which mandated that an office, independent of the court, must offer assistance with the temporary protection order process. CA was chosen unanimously to take on this responsibility. In 1991, with the goal of helping survivors avoid homelessness, CA opened its first transitional housing facility called TH1, a seven-unit, one-bedroom apartment complex. Individuals are offered advocacy, resources, and housing for up to two years at a reduced rent. In 2016, former Executive Director Denise Yoxamer garnered broad community support and nearly tripled cause transitional housing capacity for survivors. The second transitional housing facility, called TH2, offers 12 two-bedroom housing units for survivors and their children. In 2017, the Committee to Aid Abused Women became the Domestic Violence Resource Center, which more appropriately reflects the broad services it offers. In addition, the organization established a partnership with NOAA's Animal House to offer food, shelter, and veterinary services for the pets of survivors fleeing from abuse. In 2018, the Domestic Violence Resource Center became the only domestic violence provider in the region to offer free, certified financial coaching to residential clients. When the global pandemic hit in 2020, the organization worked diligently as an essential service. Despite increased requests for assistance and a decrease in vital government grant funding, the organization remained a trusted and essential resource. Thank you for joining us as we celebrate the strength and illuminating power of survivors. Your action to reduce domestic violence has made a difference in the lives of the 145,000 survivors and their children who have been served over the past 45 years.